shown you how to run Windows on a Mac using Boot Camp under Tiger, but Boot Camp is included in OS X Leopard and therefore a little smoother to run. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com. On this edition of Insider Secrets, we'll show you how to run Windows on a Mac Leopard style. First, gather the things you need. One Mac with OS X Leopard installed, one copy of your OS X Leopard disk, and a copy of Windows XP or Vista, which you have legally purchased. If you're not on a laptop, make sure you have a USB keyboard, too. And then, back up your data. Good. Now we're ready. Make sure you are logged in as administrator. Then, go to Applications, Utilities, and launch Boot Camp Assistant. The first thing you'll need to do is create a partition for Windows. Now here you'll need to decide what file system you want to use. The file system is how the data is written to the Windows side. FAT32 is the system that lets you read and write your Windows files in OS X, but you're limited to a 32 gigabyte partition and you can't use Windows Vista. NTFS is the system that limits you to only reading Windows files in OS X, but you can make the hard drive partition larger, and you can use either XP or Vista. How much space you need depends on which OS you think you'll use most often. No matter what you do, though, you won't be able to read or write OS X files from Windows, at least without purchasing extra software. I made my partition NTFS and made it large. Once you decide, click Partition. Next, it will ask you to start the Windows installation. Insert your Windows disk and press Start Installation. Your computer will restart and launch into the Windows installation. Follow the instructions for installing Windows just as they push you along, but be sure of these two things. One, choose the right hard drive. It'll be the one called Boot Camp. Don't install Windows on the drive where OS X is, or you will be very miserable. Number two, choose the right format. Now, in Vista, you don't need to worry, but in Windows XP, it will ask you whether you want FAT32 or NTFS. Choose the one you decided on earlier. If you choose FAT32 on a partition larger than 32 gigabytes, you will be at best wasting a bunch of hard drive space and at worst, causing an implosion of dark matter that will eliminate us all. You're almost home free. After the installation, you'll boot into Windows. Go to My Computer, select the CD drive. Right-click and choose Eject This Disk. Eject the Windows installation disk, then insert your OS X disk and install the drivers there. It should start automatically, but if it doesn't, go back to the CD drive and double-click Setup.exe. You'll restart again, and Windows will tell you it found all kinds of great new hardware. Just follow its instructions. From now on, if you want to boot into Windows, you'll have to hold down the Option key during boot up and select Windows. You can also change the preference to boot into Windows in the Boot Camp control panel. That's it for this Insider Secret. Check out more videos on CNETTV.com for tips on how to write to Windows files from OS X and how to reprogram the Mac keyboard to work better in Windows. I'm Tom Merritt. Enjoy your dual citizen Mac.